Well, the flames may be at now, but the battle isn't over just yet. Crews were out at the Springfield Plywood and Veneer Mill all day today and will likely be there tonight. Yeah, and it could be a while before we know just what caused that fire. KEZI 9 News reporter Now Wynn joins us live with the latest in the investigation. Now. Renee and Matt, investigators say that it will take up to a couple of weeks to try to figure out exactly what happened in this very building yesterday evening. And if you take a look at the smoldering remains of the building left behind by the fire, you can probably figure out why. It's just too hot to get inside. So for now, it's about making sure things remain quiet. Thursday's massive fire is now fully contained, but not before devastation. Crews from eight different jurisdictions worked to put out the fire, but also had to battle high temperatures, winds, and low humidity. Then there were the technical difficulties. The sprinkler system, uh, as the building collapsed, broke open, so we had open pipes flowing water, which affected the water pressure of the private hydrant system that protects the mill. That's been restored today, so we have water again. No matter how much water we had yesterday, I'm, I'm convinced the outcome would have been the same. Today, the scene is much different than Thursday night. The flames are out, the sirens and crowds gone, replaced with smoke and questions about what exactly happened inside these fallen walls. At this point, we, we still know the uh, origin, which was in one of the dryers, but we do not know the cause at this time. So now their focus is on making sure things don't start back up and protecting what was lucky enough to be spared. Well, we're still concerned with the area directly south of the mill. Uh, there's a, a lot of uh, wildland area, dry grass. As well as homes, they want to remain unscathed, so they'll continue their overnight watches, likely through the weekend. Uh, when we're, we're comfortable uh, securing from the scene, we will do so, but until then, we want to make sure we have an active fire watch. Until they're sure, the community is safe once more. Now, they expect that the crews will remain on site tonight as well, about 20 people. That could change depending on how things look here tonight. And now there's still no total cost, esti cost on the damage, but estimates are totaling in the millions. Live in Springfield, Nangwin, KEZI 9 News.